Welcome to episode 42 of A Week in the Life of a UK Student Reseller. This week we got Marina Blue Dunks releasing along with the Valentine Dunks on Foot Locker EU. I know there's also some Jordan 1 Mids releasing on Nike. I think they're the Coconut Milk and Grey. And then I think there's some other restocks scheduled for office at Coconut Milk Mid as well. Hopefully maybe we can go in a store and see if we can grab some more restocks or some other releases. I know um, New Balance 550s to be restocking a lot in size stores, so maybe we can grab some of those. And JD have also received deliveries of them, so that'd be good if we could grab a couple more pairs of those. Apart from that, I've just been stocking up on um, stock that I'm holding, such as the Thunder Force, which I've recommended for you guys. But definitely stay tuned for this week's episode to see how we get on. Right, folks. Just got another package in the mail, so I thought we'd go through it now with you guys quickly, so let's get straight into it. Right folks, so we did get in another of the Atmos Jordan ones, this one in a size 7, so a bit of a better size, I think this is like the top size you want to be buying into if you are thinking of buying into pairs, but here's the shoe again, you saw it on the previous episode, so we won't go into too much detail, but shout out to Flair Raffles for this pair, we managed to pick up another pair using flare so very good um raffle bot at the moment can't give credit enough to the devs they're very hard working team and if you are looking to pick up a raffle bot i would definitely recommend it but yeah another atmos in today stay tuned for some more updates right folks just got a bunch of orders in as you can see so we'll go through the small one first and then we'll get into the pack so the first one from office they restocked the coconut mids and we managed to pick one up so let's go through it i haven't actually showcased this one on the channel before so let's get straight into it so box is in fine shape so we managed to pick up as i said coconut mid this one a size four or us women's four and a half here they are in hand so you've got um, kind of like cream and then white contrast against each other with a black outsole and a black swoosh. I think these will do really well in summer and it is on one of my buying in lists at the moment. Just with the nice simple clean colour block and you've got the white laces, white toe box, cream panelling. Just really easy classic wearable shoe in summer and girls are really liking this one. Not really that great at the moment, only selling for about 120 on StockX, that kind of thing, but locally you can probably move it at 150 to the right client. But nevertheless, I recommend picking up all size four to six and hold for three to six months. Six months I think is gonna be better for June, July time. Pick up all pairs around retail and you should be able to sell it easily 150 by summer. So if you're looking to pick up something on the cheaper side, this is definitely a good investment nevertheless. But that is the first pickup we got on the stake. So coconut mid, size four and a half. Next up, we've got this huge pack um, from one of my sellers. So let's get into it. So it should all be Jordan 4 Thunders, um, a size run from seven to, uh, I think it's 10 or 11. I can't quite remember, but they should all be um, Jordan Thunder Force. So, yeah, this one's a size 9. Um, let's get straight into it. So, as you can see, Jordan 4 Thunders. Uh, I picked up a full size run of these as um, I told you in the previous video, I'd be, bu be buying these up heavy. So, I managed to pick all these pairs up. 260 a pop for the 10 pairs so pretty happy about that of course I'll go through and legit check them all but um, looking at them they do look all right and smell all right at the moment but yeah um, Jordan Thunders so they should um, be size 7 to 11 uh, 10 pairs in total and just a bit more of an update on that um, as I said the four pairs uh, four in this box and then two 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 so ten in total um, I recommend trying to buy in 260 to 290 if you can get in that range 
buying um, smaller sizes which go for less. I think you can um, buy in, if you're trying to buy in big packs, then you can get the smaller ones for slightly cheaper and maybe make it a bigger bundle deal for bulk. Um, picking up pairs, all sizes going to perform, but 10 plus going to be money sizes, but nevertheless, all sizes will do fine. You've got um, either a three to six month hold, or I recommend holding to holiday season this time, and you should see a return of around 400 selling. So very good margins, nevertheless. If you just want to do a quick hold, you can either buy in now, or I recommend buying in maybe March time, and then seeing what the market's like there, and then go from there. GS are all, also an option because they're only around 190 market value at the moment. It should go up to around 320, 350, something like that. So GS also a good cook if you want to pick those up. But yeah, Thunder Falls in, massive pack of them, 10 pairs in. That's what we got in today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, just got the one package in the mail today. So let's get straight into it. So it is a dunk box as you can see. UK three and a half. US six women. It's the Valentine Dunks. They release early on Foot Locker, and my slot runner was running for me and managed to pick me one size up. So here they are in hand. Very small sizes, but nevertheless, um, I'm glad to see it in hand. Um, they're currently sitting around like 170, 200, depending on the size. I think bigger sizes are going for more, but nevertheless. It's an interesting concept. I'm really not really a fan of the colour blocking. It's this kind of maroon or beige brown against the pink. It's got this kind of tumbled leather effect. If I'm honest, the leather is not that bad actually. It's actually quite soft. It's not um, stiff like the GS 75th anniversary. It is a bit softer, but it's still got that pebbled effect. It's got kind of like almost corduroy canvas toe box and that's in the side panelling as well and on the tongue and the outsole almost translucent the pink outsole and then you've got your pink laces and you've got this Nike swoosh which is of a suede or a short head suede material and then it's um, got edging around with almost this lace material which is kind of interesting but yeah that is the shoe in hand um, that's the shoe, I think I'm just going to sell it now because I don't really have any faith in the shoe with the brown colour blocking, but nevertheless I think we can make around 50 to 60 pounds which is good. So that is the pickup we got in today, don't recommend holding this past Valentine's Day at all as it will be a long hold and I don't think the demand's really there for this shoe in general. Nevertheless, that's all we got in today, stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, a couple more packages just came in the mail, so I thought we'd go through them quickly, so let's get straight into it. First one is from Nike, so let's get into it. So, first one is Nike Dunk Box in a size 11 and a half. So, it is the Marina Blues as they're called. They released just on Nike and a few other retailers which just raffled them and we managed to pick up one from the Leo draw so pretty pleased about that. Here it is in all its form so it's just a blue dunk really, different shades with the white midsole and then blue outsole and of course the white swoosh. It's also got white laces and then it's got this kind of tumbled pebbled leather with the lighter blue against the darker blue. Quality, not very good on this, just standard GR leather or Jordan leather. They haven't been pushing the boat on quality recently. It's also got the Nike embroidery on the back and then the same pebble effect. I just quick flipped it straight away for 150 as I don't really believe in this shoe because it's an all blue shoe, no real white blocking. It might do alright in summer but just at, at the peak in demand of people getting L's in sneakers, I just thought might as well quick flip it for 150 and make 50 pound lunch money, so not too bad. So this is the first pickup. Next up, we have got this one, so let's get into it. Right guys, so another pair of bubble gums. This one, a size 60 u 40 picked it up off a foot up foot control restock so this one again you've already seen it 
plenty of times on the channel, but another bubble gum lid. I think um, one of the people in my group wanted it, so uh, I'm just gonna sell it to him, I think. As I said previously, I'm not sure about holding this shoe just in general. Um, it's And with the Nike increased retail, I don't really like the hold when you could have picked up more pairs of dunks or mids for that. So that's my take on it at the moment. Not really any other holds I recommend at the moment other than really Thunder Force. But I think you can probably buy into them in March, mid-March, if you don't have the capital right now. But those are the two pickups we got in today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Thank you folks so much for watching this week's episode. It was on the drier side, I'm sorry for that and the lack of bot live cops which you probably would want but nevertheless next week hopefully I can get some more live cop footage for you guys for your entertainment. Apart from that I'm happy that we were able to secure the Valentine Dunks and I know they're releasing at Nike and other retailers next week so I am gonna just sell my pair as quick as possible. It has dipped the price dramatically from 200 now it's down to 150 so pretty disappointed in that but can't be too surprised due to the horrible colour and non-wearability of the shoe and I don't see people really rocking it other than females. Nevertheless, we did manage to get the mids on Nike, the coconut mids which should be coming in today and we were able to score an Atmos restock on Foot Patrol which is pretty good and they've all sold along with the Marinas so that's pretty good. I've just been quick flipping and investing that into buying more pairs for holding. But nevertheless, next week we should have some Dunk Violets dropping along with some more mids and I know some other dunks should be scheduled to drop Halloween's and then maybe mids on Foot Locker and we'll see if Pretty Right or any of those other sites get any restocks. We haven't seen a restock or a drop or Foot Asylum in a while so definitely look out for that and hopefully I should be able to get a live cop with Flex AIO for that but definitely as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to Flex Workshop and all the other groups and bots linked down below that I've used this week and every week in general. And stay tuned for the next episode to see how we get on.